Hello. So this is another little sewing machine unboxing. Um, oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, open it this way, I suppose. Um, get my trusty steak knife. So I have a bit of an obsession with sewing machines. And my partner is not happy that I keep buying them. No, I'm not ambidextrous, so this in my wrong hand is probably not a good idea. Let's see if I can... yeah. Ooh. Well, I opened it upside down and it has rust. It's just... Oh, this might be in worse condition than I thought it was going to be. Oh god. So it zigzag. Do you know what? This is not the sewing machine I thought it was going to be. That has... Well anyway, I'm not getting the rest of that stuff out. Because that's got a skanky battery. But this is a little zigzag sewing machine. So this is going to be a very quick video. Um, it can be manually used and electric. Let's unplug that. Gross. On off. Oh, some more just fell out of it. I mean, it's never going to get used. Oh God, look at that rust. Yeah, so... This is not the machine I thought I was going to be opening, so what I might do is pause and go find the other one because the other one is the one I thought I was going to be doing. But this one's it's cute. It will go in my little collection because it's different to the other ones I've got, but it will not be getting used. Let me just pause. I'm back. If this isn't the one I'm thinking it is, then I don't know where it is. And I'm not very good when deliveries come and check in straight away if it's what I think it is. So maybe it's never turned up. But then I can't explain what this is. So let's just open this up. This might be what I'm thinking of. It's in a random box. Yeah, oh, it's in a wine box. Is there wine? It's not heavy enough for wine. That was my knuckle. Always good. Break a knuckle. This is really light. So if this is a sewing machine, and it's a kid's one, what's it made out of? Pop styrene. Sauvignon Blanc, so I bought six bottles. I hardly drink any more. Well, I can go now, but I hardly drink wine or anything in the house. So I would not get through six bottles. Um, in Hong Kong. Yeah, I think it is what I think it is. It is the machine that I intended to buy. So I do have a lot of big sewing machines, but I have got a bit crazy buying kids small sewing machines because they're easier to collect and store. And one day I do want to have a big unit I can put them all in and have them out on display. 
that. Yeah, there, there we go. Get that off. A Holly Hobby sewing machine in the box, which is quite cute. I would have loved this when I was little. I would have absolutely loved it. But then I used to just play on my mum's big sewing machine. And my nan had an old Singer crank one, which I used to play on. So, um, or hand sewing. I did a lot of hand sewing. But, um, yeah, this is cool. So what's this? This looks... I don't know what that is. Oh my god, this is so light. I mean, it's obviously made out of plastic. Yeah. But it is also so cute. Imagine if you're like an eight-year-old and you got this. Such a cool little sound. So... It must be a loop machine. Does the bottom come off? Don't want to break it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not something I'm going to use. It's nice to know if they do work. But it's not the end of the world if it doesn't. What's in this bag? So the difference between this one and that other one I opened because that other one is actually metal, which is why it's rusted loads. So this looks like it's the instruction and some extra attachments. Oh, I've got a cotton. So there's a... Is that a foot? What is that? Foot, so a spare needle, some cotton, thread. Oh, a clamp, so you can clamp clamp it to a work surface. I'm presuming it goes through that gap. Yeah. And the little instruction manual. So, it must be one of those loop sewing machines because there's no bobbin. I wonder what that is. What is that little thing? Looks like it could be a freehand embroidery foot, but then it's not going to be because it would have to... Just a just cotton go through it. There's no extra holes where it would go. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, no. Well, anyhow, it's it's for my collection. It'll go in a little cabinet with other ones. I would say it's probably from the 80s. I'm an 80s child, so. This is very me as a child, making my Barbie clothes and model horses. I had to always make them rugs. But yeah, that's pretty cool. My little hobby hobby. And then this creepy ass zigzag one, which is really heavy actually. It's not so a kid would just be carrying around. I think it's probably more of a no, as a teenager, I'd want a bigger sewing machine. Maybe if you were like 12, 10 to 12. It's cool that it's got straight stitch and a zigzag. It's just a shame it's in bad condition, but I will probably, um, I don't know, that rusty bit on the bottom, I'll probably have to fill that hole in and give it a good clean. And then this one is just so light. Has it got a year on it? Durham Industries, New York. Oh, it's not 80s, 1975. I was not born in the 70s. I'm not that old. I'm older than I wish to be, but I'm definitely not born. I'm not a 70s child. I was born in the 80s. So, yeah, I'm surprised by that. Because I had holly hobby things when I was little. So I presumed it was an 80s thing. But, okay, well then this is... Like, I don't know, 40, what year is it? 2023. 20, 48 years old. Is that right? Yeah, 48 years old. So, it's crazy. 
I don't know when the Soet one was made. That could have been 70s. Could be 60s. What I'll do is I will, um, I'll have a Google and I'll put a date on the screen. I don't really want to tip it up too much to see if there is a date on it because it's skanky. And to be honest, I don't think there is. All that's coming out of it is more rust. But um, yeah, my two latest sewing machines. Um, I will take some videos of my big sewing machines because they are my babies. And um, we'll see if my partner actually notices these two. He probably will, because he always does. Any parcel that comes, he either thinks it's going to be craft stuff or I've bought another sewing machine. Um, and there's no point in lying because I'm not very good at it. And he'll find out anyway. But um, yeah, that's my two latest ones. La la. I will post some more of my other ones when I do. But this is it for now. One seventies plastic, one I don't know seventies metal rusty. Thank you for watching. Bye.